Well, folks, here we are. Cars, vintage ones. Let's go take a closer look. Beetle over here. Marvellous. Let's just go a little bit closer. Chime, Chime Spitfire. It's a classic. This looks like some kind of Ford, a Cortina. It's a Cortina, yes it is. Wait, I'm sorry, hold on. Does that say? Oh, I've got to look at this, come on. <laughs> Riley here. <laughs> I know nothing more about it other than it's a Riley. <clears throat> look at this one, it's huge. It's a massive car. I mean, the whole car itself is like six, six meters long. It's nice though, I do like it. And look what we got here, we got a Peugeot here. It's a Peugeot. It's printed to Peugeot. Um. I've got nothing more to say about that. <laughs> but the car I just saw, I've got a lot to say about here. This is the low page. Doesn't it look wonderful? <laughs> That's amazing! Yeah, this is the car that started the dog in the late 90s, late 80s, something. And watch the car there. You don't want to be touching it. I'm not. <laughs> okay, as I was saying, this is the Lotus Elan from the late 80s to the mid 90s. This was one of the few front wheel drive cars Lotus ever made. And as you know about Lotus, they're a company mainly known for making rear wheel drive sports cars. So this was a bit of a, a shock, really. But as you can see, though, it looks very really nice. It's just absolutely amazing. Yes. And. Yes. And. Oh, oh, right, okay. Okay, right. Nice car, though. Power. To put that into to put that into perspective, that's how much power my car has, but it weighs a lot more. I'm sure my car could beat it, but you know, I'm not going to try it. <laughs> Hi, this is my favourite vehicle ever, Volkswagen Campervan. Um, I don't know much about cars, but this is my favourite. As you can see, the angular. What he said. <laughs> Uh, but the thing that I was a bit upset about with this, it doesn't have the um, wheel bumper at the front. Oh, gutted! But if you come with me, look inside. How great is this? I think it's fabulous, darling. Yeah. 